Restless Leg Syndrome, RLS. Imagine going to bed, and instead of enjoying a cool, peaceful night of sleep, your legs literally decide to throw a party of their own. We're talking itching, tingling, and feeling like things are crawling all over your legs every single time you try hmm. to sleep at night. Sounds frustrating and absolutely terrifying, right? Well, this is the sad reality for people who have restless leg syndrome. Basically, this condition happens when your brain stops transmitting the correct signals to your nervous system, especially the ones connected to your legs. So instead of sleeping like the rest of your body at night, your legs would literally have a mind of their own with a strong urge to move. The symptoms are worse at night or when you're trying to rest, because of course, the universe loves jokes. After many years of research, scientists have come to the conclusion that RLS may be linked to reduction or complete disappearance of dopamine. According to the research, dopamine is almost non-existent in people with RLS, and as a result, the part of your brain responsible for asking your limbs to chill out doesn't work. However, you don't just wake up one morning and have no dopamine, so it turns out RLS runs in families. So if your mom, dad, or grandma couldn't sit still for five minutes without looking like they were doing the hokey pokey under the table, yeah, that might explain a lot. It can also start if you have certain conditions like iron deficiency, kidney disease, diabetes, and sometimes even pregnancy. Plus, this condition mainly affects women and doesn't really have a timeline. It can show up at any age, at any time. Thankfully, regular exercise, massages, stretching, and hot baths can help with RLS, and in the worst case scenario, your doctor can prescribe medication specifically for RLS. Sleep apnea. So you came back after a long day at work, and to make matters worse, you've been standing on your feet for over eight hours. The only thing you'd love to do now is shower, hop in bed, and go to sleep. And you do. But there's one problem. While you're in dreamland, your body suddenly forgets how to do the one job it's supposed to do automatically. Breathe. I mean, your brain, lungs, and throat are all ghosting each other like a toxic ex, and the craziest part is you have no idea that this is even happening. Unfortunately, you have a sleep disorder called sleep apnea, and it is as terrifying as it sounds. You see, with sleep apnea, your breathing would literally stop and start like a failed engine throughout the night, sometimes for 10 seconds or more, repeatedly, all night long. However, with this condition, there are three main types, and that's the obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, central sleep apnea, CSA, and complex sleep apnea syndrome. The obstruction is the most common one, and what happens is that the muscles at the back of your throat close up while you're sleeping. Yeah, scary. For the central, your brain just literally hmm. forgets to send the breathe text to your lungs, so you stop breathing while sleeping at intervals. And the complex sleep apnea is essentially a combo deal of the obstructive and central, so your throat closes up and your brain forgets to send breathe all at once. The only way to actually know if you have sleep apnea is if someone sleeping beside you lets you know that you sound like you're chainsawing a tree in your sleep. Or if you wake up every morning feeling like a zombie who got hit by another angrier zombie. Thankfully, this condition is totally treatable. There's the CPAP machine, which basically helps to blow air into your airway while you're asleep to keep it open. If you think sleep apnea is bad for your health, not subscribing might be even worse. Please subscribe. Narcolepsy. Imagine being in the middle of a heated argument and winning, but then you suddenly fall asleep mid-conversation. Just literally straight up fall asleep. No warning, no dramatic faint, just lights out for like 30 seconds. Then you wake up confused and disoriented with everyone staring at you looking more confused. Well, this strange disorder is called narcolepsy, and it is a neurological sleep disorder that turns your brain into that one chaotic friend who insists on napping at the worst possible moments. Your brain basically betrays you with sleep attacks and surprise complete muscle fails, and it has absolutely nothing to do with you being tired. This disorder essentially messes up your brain's ability to regulate sleep-wake cycles. You see, in a normal condition, your brain has a pretty solid routine that it sticks to. 
Once it's bright, your brain interprets it as morning and you're awake. And once it's dark, you're automatically supposed to go to sleep. However, with narcolepsy, the chemical in the brain that's supposed to keep you awake and alert is completely missing. So your REM sleep cycle gets completely messed up. You'd experience excessive daytime sleepiness, which simply means you'll be tired and sleepy all the time, even if you slept for eight complete hours. Also, chances are you'd have cataplexy, which is a condition where strong emotions like laughter, excitement, or even rage can cause your muscles to go full noodle mode. Imagine laughing at a hilarious joke but suddenly collapsing like a Jenga tower and falling asleep mid-laughter. But then, people don't just wake up one morning and get narcolepsy. Apparently, this autoimmune glitch can sometimes be triggered by infections like the flu and sometimes genes. And unfortunately, there is no cure for narcolepsy yet. However, treatments like stimulants, sodium oxybate, and antidepressants can make life way more manageable. It'll be like teaching your chaotic sleep schedule how to chill, kind of. <laughs> Circadian Rhythm Disorder It's 3.07 a.m. and you're lying in bed, wide-eyed and staring at your ceiling like it's going to offer you life advice. You've counted every sheep, reverse-engineered your ex's Instagram posts, and are now deeply invested in whether or not owls have knees. Meanwhile, your body is not even acting like it wants to sleep. If this sounds familiar, then you may be experiencing a circadian rhythm sleep disorder. And no, that's not some indie band, it's a real thing, and it's one of the main reasons some of us are walking sleep-deprived zombies while others are accidentally waking up before their alarms like it's a hobby. Your circadian rhythm is basically your body's internal clock. It's like a 24-hour biological timekeeper that tells you when to wake up, eat, poop, and sleep. And this rhythm is run by a tiny but powerful brain region called the suprachiasmatic nucleus. Yes, that's a real name, and no, I didn't just slam my keyboard. But then, when your circadian rhythm is out of sync, your whole sleep schedule goes from cozy bedtime routine to accidental vampire lifestyle. And well, you're stuck counting sheep every morning by 3.07 a.m. Now, with this disorder, there's the Delayed Sleep Phase Disorder, DSPD, which means you literally won't be able to fall asleep on time but would then sleep from 5 a.m. till noon. Sound familiar? Then there's the Advanced Sleep Phase Disorder, ASPD, which is the total opposite of DSPD. These people get tired and go to sleep very early. We're talking at like 6 p.m. But then they'd wake up around 3 a.m. in the morning. These guys are literally living life on early bird settings. Finally, there's the Non-24-Hour Sleep Wake Disorder, this type is most common in people who are blind. Basically, they tend to lose track of what day it is since they don't receive the light cues that normally sync up our internal clocks. Their sleep schedule shifts a little later each day, like jet lag that just never ends. Parasomnias. Let's just imagine your brain is a department store at closing time. Normally, when the lights go off, it means you're supposed to fall asleep and all the departments are supposed to shut down in an orderly fashion. But if you have this sleep disorder called parasomnias, some of those departments would stay open. For instance, you might continue to talk or even move around while completely asleep. You see, parasomnias are weird, unintentional behaviors that happen when you're asleep or transitioning between sleep stages. With this disorder, the most common type is sleepwalking. This is the OG of parasomnias, and people who experience this can move around, open doors, make sandwiches, and even drive. Yes, drive, while totally unconscious. It's like your body's on autopilot even when the pilot is off duty. The next type is sleep talking, and I honestly think it's self-explanatory. People who have this would have full-on conversations, laugh, and argue while sleeping. It's honestly creepy, but not as creepy and scary as night terrors. These are like nightmares on steroids, and you might scream, flail, or bolt upright in bed mm. without remembering any of it. Parasomnias can be triggered by a whole variety of reasons, like genetics, sleep deprivation, stress and anxiety, and even medications or alcohol. 
but the good news is that they are totally treatable. Once you clean up your sleep hygiene, manage stress, and avoid too much drinking, the condition tends to disappear over time. Plus, there are sleep specialists that can run tests, track your sleep, and help you figure out what's really going on. Sometimes, medication helps too. Nightmare Disorder So, you finally survived the chaos of the day. You've brushed your teeth, dodged one more scroll through TikTok, and flopped into bed like you're ready to have a good night's rest. But just as you're drifting into dreamland, you're suddenly running barefoot through an abandoned carnival, chased by a clown made entirely of bees, while your math teacher screams formulas in the background. You wake up, gasping, heart pounding like a rave in your chest, covered in sweat, and 100% convinced that you just lived through a rejected Black Mirror script. What you've just experienced is a nightmare, and to be honest, everyone has had at least one. However, this becomes a disorder when every single dream you have regularly turns into chaotic horror trailers that are so intense they actually wake you up and ruin your ability to sleep or function the next day. A nightmare disorder is basically when those random scary dreams become a frequent recurring and sleep-wrecking problem. We're talking multiple nights a week, and the worst part is you'll wake up feeling super anxious or scared. It'll literally feel like your brain signed you up for a subscription to Trauma Plus. Nightmare disorders mess with your sleep, mood, focus, or general ability to be a functioning human. Most time these dreams are so vivid and upsetting that you remember them the next day like a cursed movie you can't unsee. In short, it's your mind turning dreamland into a personal haunted house every single night. The causes of this absolute horror problem can be stress and anxiety, trauma and PSD, substances, and wait for it, spicy food before bed. No joke, that midnight burrito might come with a side of nightmare salsa. Insomnia. Ah, good old insomnia. At its core, it's like a broken snooze button on life. It's the inability to fall asleep, stay asleep, or get quality sleep, even when you're exhausted enough to pass out standing up in line at Starbucks. And with this disorder, there are two main types. The acute insomnia, which is short-term and often triggered by stress, like upcoming exams or your crush leaving you on read, and chronic insomnia, which shows up three times a week for three months or more. Basically, it's the freeloading house guest of the sleep world. The symptoms are as obvious as the bags under your eyes. You might lie awake for hours, wake up repeatedly during the night, or get out of bed in the morning feeling like you were hit by a mental dump truck. Daytime side effects include grumpiness, difficulty concentrating, low energy, and enough caffeine consumption to power a small city. So what causes it? A lot of things, honestly, but stress and anxiety are the biggest troublemakers. Poor lifestyle choices don't help either. For instance, drinking coffee too late, scrolling through TikTok until your eyeballs vibrate, or binge-watching true crime documentaries like you're prepping for a career in criminal profiling. A noisy or uncomfortable sleep environment doesn't exactly encourage deep rest either, and health issues like depression, chronic pain, or hormonal changes can throw off your sleep schedule very fast. Luckily, insomnia isn't unbeatable. The first line of defense is improving your sleep hygiene by building better bedtime habits. That means going to bed and waking up at the same time every day, avoiding screens before sleep, and turning your bedroom into a cool, dark, quiet cave of dreams. Sleep Paralysis Sleep paralysis is kind of like your body getting stuck in airplane mode while your brain is frantically trying to send text messages. In technical terms, it's a temporary inability to move or speak that happens when you're falling asleep or waking up. Basically, your mind wakes up before your body does, so you're conscious, but you can't move a muscle. Not even to swat away that imaginary demon perched on your chest. The scariest part about this disorder is not even your inability to move, it's the fact that you can also experience hallucinations visual, auditory, or even tactile sensations that make it feel like there's someone or something in the room. Plus, you're totally aware of everything happening. Now, to understand why this happens, you'd first have to understand what happens when you sleep. 
You see, during the REM stage of sleep, the ones where dreams get weird, your brain naturally paralyzes your body so you don't act out whatever nonsense is going on in your subconscious. However, sometimes the system glitches and your brain wakes up while your body is still locked in that paralyzed REM state. So the result is you being fully awake but totally immobilized. It's like your body pressed the pause button and forgot to hit play again. This bizarre miscommunication between brain and body can be triggered by a few main culprits like sleep deprivation, irregular sleep, and the classic villains, aka stress and anxiety. Sleep paralysis can last anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes, and most people describe it as terrifying and confusing. As someone who's experienced it, can confirm. But despite the horror movie energy, sleep paralysis isn't physically dangerous. You're not actually being haunted, abducted, or cursed. Your body is just taking its sweet time rebooting, so there's no long-term damage, and most episodes resolve on their own. That said, repeated episodes can make bedtime feel like a gamble, and that can really mess with your sleep quality. 